Today we're at the St. Clair River Classic in St. Clair, Michigan. If you've never been there, it's well worth your time to come see it. drug out here by our trusty sidekick captain there and we have this wonderful senior photographer with us <laughs> that I am in the honor to be in his presence he has been how many years with this 20 some, 20. 24 some I think he's being humble years that he's been shooting this exact race so today we're gonna be using the Sigma 500 millimeter f4 along with trying out this new little vlog lens that Sigma came out with. It's a 17 millimeter f4 as well. I'll be shooting my vlog today on the ZVE-1 from Sony and all my pictures will be at set to autofocus this time today on the A7R5. Um, we're just gonna try to take some shots, let you enjoy, see what goes on again, both on f4, so enjoy. By the way, if you're wondering what kind of tripod I'm using today, I'm using Vanguard's new Ultra Pro 303 CV20. Carbon fiber, works great, and this new dual armed head that they have is pretty neat. I tell you what, the stability and such of what I'm able to hold on to is pretty, pretty neat in the sense of I, you don't often think that you're going to use two hands when you're taking shots but having that extra arm there to grab a hold of very very unique and then this is kind of neat too you can just very simply open these up pull them out and it gives you even more of a distance to grab a hold of so if you're looking for a tripod as you know I always say Vanguard is the best they've been around I believe what I think is the longest with creating good technically advanced carbon fiber and the mechanical pieces within the tripod way better than and I'm not gonna name names but a lot of other companies have a lot of good parts out there but Vanguard I feel has really gone above and beyond with making sure that the right mechanical parts the little screws the little flip here and a little flip there and a little button there those are pieces that are often forgotten about by other companies and Vanguard does a really good job at making sure that they don't cut corners there and give you good good pieces to use on your tripod. All right, so it never fails, right? You're like, got everything set up, you're ready to go, you spent the whole day getting all your gear ready, batteries powered up, and you got the right lens on, and then this happens. Like, so this is the stuff that happens every day, no matter if you're out wildlife shooting, 
if you're just out shooting cars, if you're out just having a great day or doing what I'm doing, shooting boats today, right? So bottom line, you gotta take those moments to kind of enjoy. And one of the great moments here right now is Fred, tell us a little bit about, you've got all this experience about these boats and everything. Tell us about that and about your channel and what you do on Facebook. Well, this vessel that you see here is the uh, motor vessel Frontenac. She's owned by Canada Steamship Lines. She was built in, uh, I think, 1968, and she was converted to a self loader in 1974. She's a standard seaway size, 730 feet long, 75 feet wide, 39 feet in draft. Um, upbound for, for somewhere, we're either bringing in a load, taking a load somewhere, or going to pick up another load. Um, I, own a, I have a little site called Fred's Freighter Photos, which I've been taking pictures of the ships so pretty right around 50 years now. Great Lake ships, and uh, I've spent 61 years here in Port Huron area, Michigan, uh, taking lake freighter pictures. And uh, in the last uh, eight months, I've been I've moved down to Mobile, Alabama area, so I've got lots and lots of saltwater ships and and and. Uh, tugs and, and everything on my site. It's just a simple Fred's Freighter photos if you'd like to stop it or check it out on uh, Facebook. Uh, that's, uh, that's my site. You're more than welcome to come in. So, thank you. So yeah, so if you're into freighters and water and boats and all kind of stuff, that's the guy. And he's very humble, just so you know. This guy's got more, I'm, like, get, just watch. How many times have you taken a picture in the last three days? Uh, photographs? Eh, about 3,000. Yeah. <laughs> he's one of the old guys, you know, like, <laughs> he knows what he's doing. So, I'm honored to be in his presence today and get have fun with it. He's laughing about want, it. I just want one. He doesn't time. realize, like, he, he's the guy, the reason that me and you over there watching this are doing what we're doing. It's because of guys like him I that turn us on to it. sharp and, 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 and isn't all shaky and vibrating. <laughs> so, I figure I, at least one out of the 3,000 will be good. <laughs> yeah, he again being humble. But anyhow, take a look at his. Uh, it's on Facebook, right? Yep. Okay, and it's Fred's. Fred's Freighter Photos. Fred's Freighter Photos. Yeah. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> anyhow, we're gonna get back. Uh, maybe have a a beverage or two while we're waiting for the next race to start. A few moments. and now I'm eating licorice so this is what it looks like hey hey I'm feeling kind of old school how about you if you're feeling how I'm feeling this is what you do throw it up throw it up these guys are racing no joke and you know the neat thing is this right now is the 17 millimeter f4 Sigma lens look at the quality of what you're seeing in the background me and that boat He's flying, he's doing over 100 miles an hour. That's why I shoot Sigma. Because of that fact, no matter what I do, I know I can trust Sigma lenses to always make sure I've got the clarity. And you should do. Yeah, you should too, my glasses feel the same way. Bye bye.
right, the fourth race has begun. Fourth or third? What are we on? Third. Third, third race. I'm just so excited. I start just adding things by two, so. But anyhow, we are having a blast. It Absolutely. is a great day. Enjoying yourself? Oh, having a field day. Guess what he got today? What'd yeah. you get today? A uh, brand new tripod. That's what I got. And pictures of about uh, 15 freighters that I didn't think I was going to get. <laughs> That's right. This guy here is a proud new owner of a Vanguard oh, yes, carbon sir. fiber tripod. Oh, my God. Well, look at look at these guys. They just show up with food, huh? Holy cow. Wow. And they got the boats behind us. I mean, geez, where are we? All right, so we are done for the day. Have you had fun? I've had an absolute blast. I had a good time. It was nice meeting you, by the way. It's been a wonderful meeting you, too. This is the third time that we've crossed paths, but like this, like today we actually got to enjoy each other's company. Exactly. Which, which was nice, which was nice. And then there's this guy down here. I don't know if you've seen him, but this guy right here, if you ever need to go like on a trip somewhere on a really cool tugboat, call this guy right him, right here, this guy right here listen he'll get you places and you'll have a good time his information will be at the end of this video give him a call and if you're looking for a really good guy to like take some photos that's way better than me right here right here how do they get a hold of you uh, just uh, try me on my website uh, uh, Fred Freighter photos so that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. and that's on Facebook or what on Facebook and I even have my cell phone number on it and everything so you can get a hold of me anytime there you go for all you stage five clingers looking for someone else to cling to his phone numbers on there give him a call all right thanks for watching greatly appreciate your support thanks for being part of the set to autofocus community if you have anything you want to talk to me about say it down below and appreciate a thumbs up a like and a subscribe if you have it and I'll see you in the next video